have we done? <laughs> I have so much to explain. Look at this. This is where Vampire Diaries was filmed. Wait, uh, is something else turn on? I just heard something else turn on. It just emits it. <laughs> it blows off. The lady that we just checked in with though is like right through that door. It's an actual house and I'll explain why we're staying here, but let me just get ready because we were up at 3 a.m. and we have a busy day and then I'll explain. <laughs> shuffle and my disco pants. Damon, Stefan, Catherine, Helena. Hi, we're in Georgia and I haven't explained anything. I am in Covington, Georgia right now with Aaron. Aaron, wanna come say hi? I'm like, hi. We're in Covington, Georgia right now and you probably don't know or maybe you do if you live here. That is where Vampire Diaries, where it was filmed. So we're in, we're in Mystic Falls but we're not but we're in the town in the show. Does that make sense? I have been wanting to do this video for like a year now because I have watched the entire show two times and I'm watching the originals right now. We're both huge fans of it. Yeah, you I've, I've watched it. it probably like five times. Um, so we did some research and I've been telling her for a year, I'm like, we're gonna go there and we're gonna just mm -hmm. do like a travel guide video where we can explore the different areas they filmed as well as show you guys if you wanna come here and see the stuff if you're a big Vampire Diaries fan as well. So right now the place we're at is um very interesting. We found this online, it's called the 12 Oaks and Dine Oaks and Bed and, bed and, bed and breakfast. breakfast. We pulled up here and it is like a full on like, it's like southern mansion. It's like mansion. mansion. It's where they filmed a lot of the flashback scenes of when the it Lock was it's of the Lockwood Mansion. The Lockwood Mansion flashback scenes and it shows like Catherine a lot running around with the brothers being like, ah, cute. So when we pulled up, we immediately recognized that. But this room itself, when you go online to book, is called the Salvatore Brother Room. It definitely gives off the Salvatore brother house vibe. This is called the Salvatore brother room and it was not cheap. Also, before we start this, comment down below, Stefan or Damon. Let's fight it out in the comments. Team Stefan. What about you? Damon. Damon. Let's go to Mystic Grill. I don't think they filmed it here. Oh my god, wait. I think you're right. It looks like this is 100% where it possibly was. Miss Elena Gilbert. Stefan's like, like outside killing someone. Stefan's like out like biting And then Lane's right there. And it's like... <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're outside of the diner. This is not my second time calling it a diner. It's just not. And I think this is, oh my god, this is where they filmed all the flashback scenes with them like running around. Is that a dog? What the? <laughs> okay, this was where they were running around. <laughs> like we're on like a, a travel channel or something. Wait, do they have like snakes in Georgia? Like wild snakes in the grass? <laughs> Point four miles to Mystic Grill. Let's do it. Out in the distance. Look at the bell tower. Oh my god. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. I just ordered my first sweet tea and potato soup, and we're gonna split the Mystic salad. And they even have a vegetarian barbecue sandwich. They said that the bar is the exact replica of in the show, but the rest of the restaurant isn't. They said that they're cast members. Cast members come and sit over there. So we're going up to take a picture right next to the bell tower so we went on the patio. They have all like these signed menus from people from the show. Wait, yeah, Elijah, like, Stefan, oh my God. Yes, I can't wait, Catherine. Wait, that's so funny. Oh my God, she's from Originals. Guys, like this video if he deserved better. Oh my God, he's from One Tree Hill. What is he doing here? Oh my god, and these heels, this is not your hair. Oh, oh that was so cute. Stop. <laughs> Stop around. Oh, like, Us being the Salvatore brothers. <laughs> Us being the Salvatore brothers, we're 20 minutes straight. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Damon. <laughs> Matthew Donovan. <gasps> Matt, that's adorable. I've always wondered what these. 
he's feeling so overwhelmed. I'm gonna be spending way too much money in here. Should we do a puzzle tonight? <laughs> had the nicest lady check us out with all of our souvenirs and she told us where the boarding school is the high school but right now we're trying to find one more gift shop because we really want these blood bags that we saw on instagram so we can take pictures why does it hurt so bad say hey <laughs> we're in mystic falls wait do you guys watch vampire diaries yes damon or stefan damon, damon? Yeah. see i'm stefan she's I, damon woke up at 11 o'clock i ain't got no job the monster came out in legacies right there i literally remember this scene just happening oh yeah wait show them the blood bags oh god we found it we could not we kept asking people no one knew what we were talking about but look what we copped <laughs> it's apparently energy drink but energy drink cool. these are gonna be so interesting <laughs> That's actually so crazy. That's so weird. Oh, there's a cat. Uh oh. Why is that cat like? Oh god. Why are we That's seeing? Me scared. We... Oh god. Why... why is it running? Yeah. Wait. Why is it running? Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellie is still running after us. I can't run in these heels. Fun fact, Caroline's house and Elena's are literally right next door to each other. I thought it was gonna be like a walk away. They're literally neighbors. We have somehow found our way back to the bell tower. We had a really good day of just exploring around, but now we're like kinda getting a little tired. We're trying to figure out where to eat dinner because we already went to Mystic Grill, that's where we are right now. We had some like recommendations. Maybe we'll go explore and then we wanted to go back tonight and put on our shirts and vibe out and watch the Vampire Diaries so that way we can kind of recognize some of the places we went to today. I'm gonna get migraine from the sun. <laughs> pop it open. Let's pop it open. It's like a Capri Sun. I literally, like, it's like too sugary. It is such a different experience seeing it at night. It looks so much more like the show because I feel like there were so many night scenes going on. But we just ate over here at a restaurant called City Pharmacy. It was so good. It was really, really good. We just spent some time in there, had a cheese board, my favorite. We're gonna walk back to our place now because we're so tired and Amazing. we wanna put our shirts on and show you what we got today. Hey guys, call time. We just had the worst experience in the shower here. I was trying to get the shower turned on just to like shower obviously. And there was like 50 different knobs that you could press and like turn to make it come out and it literally leaked all over the bathroom. Yeah. We had to use all of our flower, flowers, <laughs> all of our towels on the ground. <laughs> we have a haul, we're back and today was so much fun and I hope you guys enjoyed so seeing some of like the main areas. What was really nice was we didn't have to Uber or drive anywhere, everything was walking distance. Yeah. So if you come here, just know that like the main places, they're all in like the same area. But we thought it'd be fun to show you the things that we bought, the two things we bought today at the <laughs> shop. <laughs> We got the Vampire Diary shirts and they might look normal now. Oh, I'm already, I'm already on the other side. Oh, you're side. already on the other, on side. other side. Oh, it says hello, hello brother. <laughs> and then we also decided to each get ourselves a glass. Mine says bite me. Mine says mystic grill. And then on the back it says serving hybrid. <laughs> I can't take it seriously talking about it. We're, we're like, it's like, like hybrids. Oh like, God. Uh, serving hybrids, which is a vampire since 2014. Kind of spooky. That felt like a literal episode. I feel like we're in like a play where it's like reenacting it. <laughs> there's like really random creepy music playing and then there's like 10 rooms but no one was in any of them. So I don't know if we're the only ones staying here. We just popped our popcorn upstairs and we are watching Founders Day, season one, episode 22. If I find a point where it shows anything we saw today, 
I'll come back. <laughs> Within the first 20 <laughs> seconds, I spy Mystic Grill. This is literally where we're staying right now. We just Googled it and this is literally, we're in, the, this is the front where I showed you guys earlier. Over, I don't know why I'm making such a big deal. No, it's <laughs> but around the back is where we're staying. <laughs> Guys, we had the absolute weirdest night's sleep here ever. We went to bed early because we thought we were gonna be getting up at 7 a.m. Aaron had an essay to finish writing. We were gonna go back into town, get a coffee. We were gonna get breakfast here. She was gonna make it for us. And then we were gonna go down, get a vampire latte, and then come back here, grab our stuff and Uber to the boarding school and get like a picture of the outside. So it was a perfect plan. We went to bed early. We plugged our phones in over here because there wasn't an outlet by the bed. So we plug them in and we go to bed and then I remember at like 2 a.m. I woke up to Aaron screaming and crying having a nightmare like actual screaming and crying and like breathing heavy and I've never seen her like that before and when we're together we always sleep together we never sleep in our own rooms and so I'm used to sleeping with her this never happened and so I wake her and then she was crying it was explaining to me her nightmare so then we went back to bed and I remember just feeling like the night was really long and I was also sweating half the night and the windows wouldn't open for fresh air yeah, because you had her turn on the heat last night. Our fireplace wasn't working, so the lady came in barefoot and started like messing with the fireplace. I look over at the clock at like 6 a.m. and I remember yeah, thinking, I yeah, I remember we both looked at the clock and we were like, hmm, we still have like a little bit more time to sleep, so we went back to bed. Well then, I wake up at 8.40, look at the clock next to the nightstand and see that, and I was like, oh my God, like we slept through an hour and, a, an hour and 40 minutes of our alarm. Our breakfast isn't there anymore, like we're a mess. So I wake up frantically and I was like, Erin, grab our phone. So she comes over and the reason our alarms didn't go off, both of them were powered completely off, meaning like, that's never happened to me. I have never woken up unless my phone was dead. Dead. They weren't dead when we plugged them in. I have never had that happen and not only one of our phones but both of them So we found that to be weird because then our alarms didn't go off But then we power on our phones and the time says 1237 so at first I think it's like a head somewhere a different time zone or something I was so disoriented. I look and we call our mom because she'd been freaking out since we hadn't texted her good morning It was 1230. So that clock was four hours behind But last night it wasn't but last night it wasn't because we used that clock to gauge when we were gonna leave like what is going on? So now it is one o'clock and we're finishing getting ready and I'm devastated because we have to head down to Athens right now because we have plans there so we can't go to the boarding school anymore but we are gonna still go and I want the vampire latte so bad. I'm not trying to start anything weird and say this place is haunted but there's something spooky going on. I don't know, the phone thing though really confuses me and kind of worries me and then her having the nightmare, something weird was going on but we're gonna finish getting ready now and <laughs> go get our vampire latte. That's the last thing I do, I'm getting that latte. Um, so little update, we just Googled as we're walking here to breakfast. The place we were staying is on the list of top haunted places in America. I didn't know any of that before booking it. I just thought it was some fun place that Vampire Diaries was filmed. Erin, I'm not okay. This just took a turn. <laughs> Can I do the vampire latte? We have our vampire latte, so you want to try it? I got mine iced. I don't like warm coffee, and she has hers warm. Ready? Cheers. It's a vampire it's latte. Strong. <laughs> I wanted it to have like red or something in it. Yeah. It's just so weird. We're sitting here with a view of Literal Mystic Falls, like the episode we watched last night was Founders Day, and it was all filmed right there. I feel like I'm Elena right now, dramatically in a coffee shop window in the rain. We're saying our final goodbye to Mystic Falls. We have to walk back and call our Uber. This is so sad. I know it's so sad. Besides last night. Besides last night being haunted. Bye, Mystic Falls. This place is beautiful, and we're gonna do our research as we're in the Uber as to if this is haunted or not. And I'll get back to you there. But that, the sense actually being in Mystic Falls, next time you'll see me, I'll probably be back in Arizona explaining some stuff. Just like that, I'm back in Arizona. Also, I'm not wearing these to be trendy. They're blue light glasses and they help me edit so I don't get a headache. I want to finish this up in a fast way here because this video is so long, but I just wanted to include everything. Now, am I probably being dramatic about the whole haunted thing? Yes. My mom ended up calling there though just to let her know and she was like, no one else has ever told me of anything haunted, but I was just confused because online there's like a full story as to it being like a mom and son that once lived there. And it like pops up when you Google the place. So like, I'm sure she's heard of it. Maybe not, I don't know. What an experience though. Um, 
Wow, I love Mystic Falls. I love Covington, Georgia. The organization I wanna talk about for this video is called For You Haiti. It basically just helps to sponsor the children over in Haiti with educational resources, physical resources. So it's a really, really cool organization that one of you messaged me. So yeah, that will be down below. But thank you for watching this. I love you and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. Thank <laughs> you.